Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Blast. And today we're going to be blasting in coffination three. Hear me, O oh sweet death, sing thou wretched choirs on self made God records. Now, imagine if Incantation ate a bunch of Quaaludes and decided to play Funeral Doom. That's what this sounds like. So fucking good. Every release that, like, Incoffination have put out is fucking fire. But I just love how slow this is, how heavy it is. The artwork is absolutely amazing. Great lyrics. It's just fucking sick. Everything about this is amazing. The third invocation of death in offering of flesh to nothingness. And this was recorded in solitude in the later half of 2013. The third album is dedicated to the glory of death. To the bitter perfection found in the absence of life. From the heaving earth we are born and to the grave we are abandoned. Our rotting shells will be forgotten and the mound of eternal decay will envelop our bones. Fuck yeah. So sick. Incoffination 3 Hear me, O oh sweet death Sing thou wretched choirs Is fucking so good And speaking of so good Today is the final day of the Hell Trilogy And I'm going to be doing a short Re-re-review of Hell 3 Because... If you watch this channel or been a viewer for a while, then you know I reviewed the cassette tape on Grey Sun Records a while back. And not much has changed, but I'll show you some extra art real quick. But I'm also going to show you the posters and everything that make up the trilogy. Oh, this goes this way. I forgot the angels falling from heaven. It's fucking great. Rest in peace, Bruce M. Williams. Just amazing art here. And hell is the kingdom of pain and sorrow. And hell is MSW. On this release, I know he has um, help with some violin and some opera. The Hell Trilogy, check out uh, the videos I made of Hell 1, Hell 2. You can check out the original Hell 3 re cassette review as well. But I'm going to be going over the picture disc box set version. And hell is MSW. I know I showed this off like every day this week, but it never gets old. The art here is absolutely fucking gorgeous. But on Hell 3, we have two tracks, and they're just absolutely amazing. Mourn, which is just like, holy fucking shit. And uh, I always mispronounce this one, but the second song on here is fucking amazing. And that's uh, Deester, or Deestar, I, I apologize. It's D-E-C-E-D-E-R-E. -E -E. But guests on three, we have Violin by M-O-S, Flute by HSW and Opera by FLE. All records mastered for Placenta Your Folk by Dan Randall at Mammoth Sound. 
fucking so good. And here we are. Hell 3. Wow. Pretty much everything about the other two releases thrown into one, but still, this kind of rides a little bit more on the coattails of Hell 2, but at the same time goes back to some of the more sludgy aspects of Hell 1. It's fucking great. Like, seriously, if you're a fan of Doom Metal, you have no excuse not to get into hell. Seriously. And same goes if you're a fan of sludge that's just sliced with that blackened knife. It's fucking great! Like, the black metal elements that hell uses... It's not like the whole record's just blast beats and, like, fucking tremolo picking. No, this is devastatingly heavy, misanthropic, heartbreaking, sludgy doom metal that just happens to have these blackened elements throughout. And I can't repeat it enough. Hell is the kingdom of pain and sorrow. This is not some, you know, happy-go-lucky, let's go dance around the fucking neighborhood type of music. I mean, I'm sure you could do that, but to me, hell is best enjoyed in the dark with some bad ideas in my head. Like, seriously. Hell has legitimately walked me off of the ledge numerous times. And thank you, Matt. Because I might not be doing this right now without Hell, MSW, and certain individuals that know certain personal stuff about me. But... I never really got a chance to say to Matt, MSW, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for creating such amazing music. That's not only amazing because it's fucking some of the heaviest, most devastating, sludgy, and doomed out black metal ever written it's also full of beautiful ambience acoustic guitars it's just I, I fucking love it it's everything about extreme music that makes extreme music extreme and if you can't deal with that you know maybe hell Mismore, all these projects they aren't for you but I love this shit. So, Hell 3 is a perfect companion piece to Hell 2 and Hell 1. It's just a great way to close off the trilogy and lead you into the self-titled full length. Absolutely amazing. I love Mourn. It's my favorite track on here. It's just so fucking powerful. But... This is Hell 3. I'll show you the cosmetics and the posters within here. All the way back to Hell 1. But here is Hell 3's art. I think it was a great idea to go the picture disc route here because the art is fantastic. Like, everything about this cosmetically is just fucking wow and musically as well it's a fucking work of art and i mean that like seriously this is the uh sheet that tells you who did what and everything but it's also a poster if you want to make it one i'm kind of out of room when it comes for to for some more posters especially Stuff like this that I would love to get framed. 
as you'll see in a moment, but hell is MSW. And here's Hell 2, Disc 1. Hopefully I have enough time to go over these for you sickos. Gorgeous artwork. I really, again, I forgot to reread Dante's Inferno and whatnot. And look up the lyrics to this record. But just amazing, amazing art here. So good. I wish I even knew the original artist's name off the top of my head. That's Tyson's job. Tyson is one of those dudes. He's just... I, I really wish he would start his own YouTube channel. He just has such an immense knowledge of, like, doom metal, death metal, everything. And here is Hell 2, Disc 2, which only has the seaside on it with music. Again, just absolutely amazing art. These people are trying to get out of hell. And this I fucking love. That's probably my favorite piece is the like, it's not an etching, but there's no music on the D side. It's just fucking gorgeous. Everything about it. Fuck yeah. And like I was saying, Hell 2 is my personal favorite of the trilogy, but Hell 3 is, like, just as good. And so is Hell 1. Like, everything MSW touches turns to gold. Like, he's in so many projects, it's just fucking sick. And here is Hell 1. Starting your journey... Into the depths of depravity. Fuck yes. Such good artwork. Lower your head. Don't believe. Poster right here. Again, just absolutely gorgeous. And here comes the real gnarly stuff. Like, I might have to take a step back here. And I don't want to rip this. And I always forget which way it goes, but it goes this way. Oh my god. Look at this fucking monster. That's what I mean by... I want to hang that shit, like, frame it, hang it, get it done properly. This one is just so gnarly as well. What the fuck? Look at how sick this is. The Hell Trilogy is just... So amazing on, on the picture disc box set. I'm not sure what the CD version of the box set's like. I'm not sure if there's a cassette version, to be honest with you, either. But it's awesome, because each one of these posters, I feel like it represents one of the albums, you know, in the trilogy and whatnot. So it's just fucking so, so fucking cool and sick. MSW and company just killed it here with the Hell Trilogy. Hell 1. Hell 2, even though that's Disc 2. Here's Hell 2, Disc 1. I'm running out of time, but it's alright. And Hell 3. Fuck yeah. So good. Thank you, MSW. And thank you, Maniacs, for watching this Hell Week so far. That's the Hell Trilogy, and that's Hell 3. I'll post my original review in the description. We were blasting Incoffination 3... Hear me, O oh sweet death, sing thou wretched choirs. As always, thanks for watching. Hey.